What is up, people? What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. I want to show you that these are true two-car garage units. So we're over here in Potomac Shores, and I have to show you this quick move-in property that they are selling right now. So there's only one of these left, and then there is the model home that's left over there. We do have the model home already on our channel. Um, I may record it again today just to kind of show you all what is available, but I had to show you this unit. I showed it today to my client and it's possible that he'll buy it, uh, but he may not buy it and then it may be available to you. I also represented the buyer on the property with the red door over there. I also represented the property two houses down over there as well all from the youtube channel so thank you all so much for supporting us let's get inside before we go into this beautiful home did you know that there are three recommended home inspections for new construction properties if you didn't let's work together to ensure you have the best building experience in northern virginia i specialize in assisting buyers like you throughout the entire new construction process best of all the builder covers my real estate commission which means you'll have no money out of pocket for my services i'll be with you through your contract negotiation design center consultation three home inspections, final walkthrough, and the signing of your closing paperwork to receive the keys for your new home. To get started, simply click the link in the description below to complete our perfect home questionnaire. Once completed, we'll meet online via Zoom to answer all your questions about buying a new home in Northern Virginia. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this stunning property tour. I'll talk to you soon. One of the things that's nice about these Pulte homes is how wide this entryway is. A lot of entryways or foyers are relatively narrow, but not in this gray wood model, which is what we're in at this time. So what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna go to the um, we're gonna go downstairs first, and then we're gonna come back upstairs, go to the living room, uh, the living level, and then bedroom level, and then the fourth level, okay? All right, let's count these stairs. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now we're gonna go downstairs. One, two, 12, 13. So we are now in the basement. You'll be able to get to your basement from your garage or from the stairs by the living area or the foyer area. You have this nice room here, which could be used as a bedroom. There's this little nook over here that could be turned into a closet. You could put a wall across here as well, turn this into a bedroom if you wanted to, or you could leave it open and have more or less like a media room. So put a large TV on this wall. You have some nice windows over here, and then you have this backyard, which what's cool about this unit that the uh, model home doesn't have is this unit, because of the elevation, you step outside. So you don't have stairs going outside. So you step right outside. So it, it lets you capture more of your backyard. And those blue stakes right there is actually where your yard ends, right? So you have a lot of potential to have a nice grassy backyard, do a number of things, and you have these unobstructed views. So this view right here, not that, not that exciting, but wait until you see what's upstairs. All right, let's lock this door here. Okay, so that door is through the garage. We have a coat closet there. We do have a full bathroom on this level here. Nice that they went with the tile all the way up to the ceiling there. So you do have two baths, bathtubs in, bathtubs in this unit here. Let's go check out this garage. So with the garage space, we have a two car garage. You have your whole spigot right there. 
Another thing that's nice about this unit is the fact that your utility room is accessed through your garage. I can't tell you how silly it is to access your utility room inside of your property. Why is that necessary? I don't know. All right, so we do have some storage space underneath uh, or, or next to your garage. So you could do with that what you, you'd like. It's also nice that you have windows here as well going so you can bring some natural light in here and you have higher ceilings in this garage. You could put some type of storage contraption up on the top. All right, so since we counted the stairs going down, we're not gonna count the stairs going up. So let's get to the kitchen. All right, so let's count the stairs going up to the kitchen. One, two, three, four. So four stairs. And then we're greeted by this gorgeous living space. So to the front here, we have your, what would be your dining room. So you will have to have a little imagination here. We have this half wall that brings you over to the foyer area. So a nice wide open space here. We went, they went with the dark cabinets. I believe that's quartz countertops. Huge island, plenty of space to sit and entertain your guest. Another thing that's nice about these models here is that we have the vent hood with the oversized cooktop. So you can fit yourself some nice big pots on here. And we have the can lights here. Yeah. Nice cabinet selection. Then we have our sink here, right? So let's do our sink view. So to the back or to the left here, we have our living room area. To the front is where your guests will be seated, having some food. And then we have your dining room to the right over here. All right. Nice, large, full-size refrigerator with the water, a water and ice dispenser. We have our pantry, cat a corner to the kitchen. And the last space on this level is going to be your living room before we go outside. So we have ourselves a nice little fireplace, which is a nice little touch here. Then we can go outside. Oh look, I think I hear the train. So again, this is Potomac Shores. One of the benefits is that there is a VRE station right down the way that's going to be installed or that's currently being worked on. And this is your view, look at that view. Come on now. Now we're gonna be able to look at this view even further or have a better look at this view from the fourth level. But right now we're checking out the size of this deck, which is rather large. You could definitely fit two sitting spaces on this deck here. And then that, that is your view off of your deck. So during the fall or during the uh, spring, summer season, this is gonna be lush. So this view will be somewhat obstructed, right? By vegetation, right? And trees and shrubbery, right? Um, but not for your fourth level, which we'll get to shortly. Okay, so one more thing on this level to note is that we have our powder room and our coat closet tucked nicely over here in the corner. So we have our coat closet right here. Bam. And then we have our powder room right here. And it's nice that you get a window out of your powder room. And another thing that's kind of nice about the powder room is that there's really only three places to put a powder room on your main level. You can put it at the front, the middle 
or you could put it towards the back here. What's nice about what Pulte has done is that they actually tuck the powder rim off to the back here. So it gives you a little privacy in the event that you have guests that are using the bathroom or you're using the bathroom. Whereas we just recently saw a model, I'm not gonna name the builder, but their powder rim was right off of the kitchen. It was kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's an interesting design uh, idea. Um, but we, we, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, let's go upstairs to the bedroom level. One, two, 10, 16, 17. All right, so. So we have your guest bedrooms off to the front of the property here. We have a guest bathroom, owner's suite, stairs up to the loft, and then we have your wash and dryer area. So guest bedroom number one. This guest bedroom is big enough to fit a full size bed and a nice little nightstand here. Another nice feature Pulte has done here. We, get, we have some sliding doors so you don't have to worry about the doors taking up space inside your bedroom so this is guest bedroom number two off to the front of the property we got ourselves a little sunset so again we have sliding doors this is going to be the larger of the guest bedrooms this is our second tub in this space this is our guest bathroom towel all the way up to the ceiling. This is where your washer and dryer will go. And the last room on this level is going to be your owner's suite. So that is where you could imagine a king size bed, two end tables or nightstand. You put a nice size dresser there and then look at your view from your bed. Look at this, so just imagine, you are, you wake up, right? You wake up, you yawn, and then you look to your right, and that is your view. My goodness, look at that. This view is under a million dollars, people, under a million dollars. River views under a million dollars, come on now. Come on now, is that not something to get excited about? So we have ourselves a nice little walk-in shower here. We have your toilet closet over there. We have a nice window, bringing in some natural light. You have your linen closet next to your double vanity. Let's just look in these right here so you can get a peek. Let's look at that, that's your view. Is that not gonna inspire you to put on a really nice outfit so you have your your bathroom, and then you have your walk-in closet here. Let's get this light on, perfect. All right, so now let's go to the fourth level. Let's count these stairs. One, two, in 16, 17. Right, let's get some lights on. I thought that was a light. Maybe this is a light. Oh, there's no light up here. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad we came before it turned dark, right? Okay, so let's talk about this room before we go out and see those gorgeous views. So this is the fourth level. We already have it pre-wired there. You put your TV on the top there. We also have a nice little wall right here for some another piece of furniture. So maybe you get yourself a nice large TV there. You get a sectional sofa there. And behind here is your powder room for this level. And you have a little closet up here as well. All right, a little linen closet. Actually a linen closet, and then we have another room with some storage right here as well. All right, so 
the grand finale for this this tour is definitely this space here look at that oh my goodness whoa whoa is this iphone 15 pro doing a great job of capturing those details look at those highlights and those clouds this is a view under a million dollars new construction ladies and gentlemen new construction you got a nice little rooftop terrace here maybe you put yourself an awning up here you already have your little hose spigot right there so if you needed to have like a little gumbo pot you have your gas line right there maybe put your gas grill up here look at this this is this is breathtaking so when i was talking to my client about this i was like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity Look, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's only seven properties with this view. Mm, mm, mm. My goodness. My goodness. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. So what do you all think? Is this view worth it? Could you see yourself having some coffee up here? Maybe having uh, a gathering up here with this gorgeous, gorgeous space. What do you think? I'm just gonna leave the camera right here and say thank you all so much for an amazing 2023. We've represented so many of you all from this channel. We love and appreciate the support. And we hope you like the content that we're putting out. We will have more content coming up in 2024. Although 2023 isn't over yet, so we have a lot of content that we're gonna be putting out until the end of the year. Uh, but yeah, but, but my family can't thank you all enough for the support that you all have given us. We appreciate you all reaching out to us. We appreciate the comments, the likes, subscribes, and we really appreciate everyone who agrees to click the link in the description, who fills out the perfect home questionnaire, who joins me on that Zoom session, who buys a property with us. We can't thank you all enough. Um, this has been an amazing experience for us. It's a great ride. This ride isn't over. And we look forward to uh, continue to service you all and, and bring you all answers to all of your real estate questions. Believe it or not, that was our, our first tagline, which was um, Ask a Walker answers to all of your real estate questions. And this YouTube channel has helped us kind of deliver on that philosophy and that's it so from my family to yours thank you i hope you have a amazing holiday season i hope you enjoyed this tour too uh again this is a one of one property there was only seven of these units even available uh and this is the last unit new construction that's left if you don't get it I hope you enjoyed the view. If you do get it, I hope you reach out to us. And if you're ready to start your real estate journey, reach out to us. Until next time, peace.